Back in March, we announced a private beta for Docker for Mac and Docker for Windows. Docker users could apply to try Docker's native development environment. Within hours, we had over 30,000 people demanding to get in. By the last week, we had over 70,000 people in the beta. Wherever we went, at conferences, meetups, and social media, we were asked for invites into the private beta program. We were surprised, in a really good way, to get all the amazing participation, all the great feedback, and most of all, for the excitement from the developer community. So today we're announcing that we're opening up the beta to everyone. Now to get up and coding, all you need is Docker, Git, and a text editor. To get the beta for Docker for Mac and Windows, just head over to the URL in the description and download it. But if you haven't tried it yet, let me tell you a little bit about what you're getting. Docker for Mac and Windows improves the experience of running Docker on these platforms. Like Docker for Linux, Docker for Mac and Windows brings a deeper integration with each of these platforms, leveraging the native virtualization features of the respective platforms. This gives you the same Docker experience regardless of where you're running it. This gives you four major advantages. Faster and more reliable native experience, in-container development, easy development for a polyglot environment, and a better networking experience. We developed Docker for Mac and Docker for Windows by working very closely with Apple and Microsoft to help us leverage the native hypervisor support in both platforms. On Mac, the Docker engine is running in HyperKit, a framework that we open sourced earlier this year, and the native Apple hypervisor framework. And on Windows, it's running in Hyper-V. Not only does this remove extra steps for installation, but because we're leveraging native capabilities, Docker for Mac and Windows will have much better performance and reliability. And we've added in advanced options too that let you control CPU and memory usage, as well as quickly add in repository and configuration information. And Docker will now be a native Mac and Windows app, which means that it actually has a native look and feel and an auto update capability and you won't need to use Docker Machine to run on Mac and Windows. Now all you need to get started coding is Docker, Git, and a text editor, or whatever version control and ID that you want to use. That's because volume mounting for your code and data is vastly improved. Once you've installed Docker, mounted volumes will automatically notify Docker when a file has changed. This means that you can build your development environment in a container and edit your apps in a volume that you're mounting. Changes in your files will automatically be reflected in your running app, and you won't need to rebuild your images and containers to test them out. So now you can develop apps on your machine without having specific runtime or frameworks installed on that machine. I just want to say that again. With Docker, you can create apps without having that runtime or framework installed on your machine. So you can create a Node.js app without having Node installed, or a Java app without downloading Java. And you can still debug them using your favorite editors and IDEs. Not only that, you can do all the development inside the container. We built a demo to show you how this works. OK, so I've got an app here. It's open in Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can see in my Docker Compose file that it's composed of a number of services. We're just going to take a look at one right, right now. That's the uh, Vote app, which is a it runs a container that has a Flask web service in it, and it's a voting app that lets you vote for cats or dogs, and the results show up in a different uh, a different page. So. If I go into the vote app and change this, the cats and dogs, to tabs versus spaces and save it, and then refresh the page, I get tabs and spaces. And naturally, I've voted for spaces. All right, it's really that simple. Uh, you can you're basically doing in container development right there, Visual Studio Code with Docker for Mac. 
Most developers these days don't consider themselves single language developers. Something like 88% of developers regularly work with more than one language. They have to write in multiple languages and frameworks to get their work done. They also work in polyglot teams where they may be working with many components to an app using many different tools. Docker for Mac and Windows lets you add all of that into your existing projects by just building the right containers. And Docker for Mac and Windows have the same features regardless of which platform that you're using them on. Docker for Mac and Windows includes a DNS server for containers and is integrated with the Mac OS X and Windows networking systems. That means that you'll even be able to use Docker networking easily over a VPN. These are the current minimum system requirements. Basically, you need a relatively newer Mac 2010 or later with OS X 10.10.3, Yosemite or later. Or you need a Windows 10 Pro machine with a recent build of Hyper-V installed. We're really happy with the progress we've made. We're going to keep Docker for Mac and Windows in beta for a little longer, getting your feedback on how it makes using Docker a better experience. Head on over to the URL at the end of the video or in the description below and download the current version of Docker for Mac and Windows.